While Washington has been busy doing what's best for Washington, things have gotten worse, not better for families and small businesses. With unemployment still rising, the number one thing our family-owned small businesses need right now is certainty. They need to know that the government is not going to come in and do anything to jeopardize their ability to keep their doors open. So it's certainly encouraging to see that President Obama has proposed a potential agreement to stop all the tax hikes scheduled to take effect on January 1st. Failing to stop all the tax hikes would mean taxes would go up for small businesses all across this country, destroying more jobs. The American people want to see all the tax hikes stopped, and they won't tolerate games that might get in the way. They won't put up with any celebrating and backslapping either. Putting the games aside and doing the right thing for the people shouldn't be the exception. It should be the rule. While stopping all the tax hikes would be a good first step, this alone won't eliminate the job-killing uncertainty hanging over our employers and entrepreneurs. That's why we need to focus on cutting spending and reducing the size of government. The American people want us to stop spending dollars we don't have. To do that, we need to start taking a long, hard look at the size and scope of government and find new ways to resist Washington's urge to grow and to grow. Let's do a better job of following the money and evaluating the effectiveness of government agencies. We also need to repeal the job-killing health care law. Just about every day during my campaign, I visited with small business owners who told me this health care law is going to increase their costs, how they're making those tough decisions about whether to continue offering benefits. Once we repeal this law, we can replace it with common sense reforms that lower costs for families and small businesses. Republicans have outlined these priorities and reforms in the Pledge to America, a governing agenda built by listening to the people. Hard work lies ahead. But those of us in this new class of representatives have come face to face with the people's frustration, and we are committed to making sure Washington humbles itself and starts making good decisions. Listening to the people, honoring our Constitution, and making the most of the blessings God has bestowed on this great nation is how we go about securing the promise of the American dream for our children and their children. Thank you for listening, and may you and yours experience all the joys and blessings of the holiday season.